a Heidi Danisa is Rosemary. In this video, we will create a turntable for this dress in Cloth 3D and then we save it as a high quality video, easy step by step. To create a turntable for this garment, we have two options. We can create it with the avatar just like this or without the avatar. I will show you both ways. However, those first and foremost important, we want to check a garment, okay? We want to be sure all these lines are hidden. So for example, right now, this internal line appear as well as the baseline and we want to turn them off. To do so, I will come over here to this display 3D garment and I want to turn off this internal line just like that, as well as the baseline, okay? So now the baseline and the internal line are disappear. After that, you see this 3D high quality rendering, we want to check that. If I unchecked it, the garment looks flat. We want to check that box right there. So when it highlighted in blue, it means on. And you see the garment into this real 3D silhouette. And that's what we want. As well as right here, we want to see, let's see this garment right here. I have some thickness applied onto the garment itself. We want to change that thickness to this thick texture surface, okay? After that, I'm going to come over here to this avatar icon, click on this avatar right here to turn off the avatar. So now you can create only just the garment, okay? However though, for this example, I will leave the avatars on right there. So I'm going to select the avatar once again to turn it back on. All right, after that, I'm going to double check on the garment. So definitely, we have to turn off the floor and the shadow is after you. I kind of like the shadow, so appear to be the garment kind of stuck to the ground rather than floated garment, but that's up to you. I'm going to show you how to do it though. So I'm going to come over here to this earth icon looking thing we want to click on it and then hover the mouse to the right and then select so first of all if you have the blue bubble next to the icon that means that function is active so if i click it on like that to turn the floor off now if i go back click on it and as you can see right here the bubble disappeared to turn it back on simply click one on that floor once again and you see that floor is active so for this example, I want to turn the floors, okay? The same with the shadow. Once again, under environment, which is looks like the earth icon right there, click on it, hover the mouse to the right, and select that shadow icon to turn it off. I'm going to click once again to turn it back on, just like that. And you can do further if you want to. However, for this example, I will just leave her just like that. That is good enough for me. So I'm going to press number eight on the keyboard to get to the back view of her. Now I'm going to press on number two once again to see the front view and she looks pretty good. Next, I'm going to once again, press on number two. I want her as center as possible. And the shortcut key number two is for front view. Next, I'm going to go to file, click on it, then come down here. Okay, so we have Widow capture turntable, okay? Click on that. Next, this window pop-ups, and this is super cool, okay? The width and the height. So for this example, I hope this answers your question, John, because I'm going to have this 2K quality for this turntable. It's pretty high quality, and I use that for my YouTube video as well as share that on social media. I think it, you can create higher than that if you want to. Let me show you the link or actually search in Google. So this link right here or this page, for example, right there, how many K? So 1920 by 1080, which is 2K resolution. That is pretty high. You can change to a different resolution if you want to. But for this example, I'm going to select 1920 by 1080, which is 1080p. I'm going to switch back to close. And I'm going to type in right here, 1920, and then press on the tab key right there and type in 1080 and press on the tab key once again. Okay, so right here, I 
would change the duration to 5 seconds rather than 3 and again press the tab key so as you can see right here this is the avatar and the garment just like that however though you can do a couple of things here after you change the resolution and so forth you can zoom in a little further and adjust this avatar if you wanted to let's say i can zoom in by just scroll the mouse wheel forward to zoom in as you work in on the workspace or scroll the mouse wheel backward to zoom out or i can rotate by pressing down the command or control and then right click to rotate so what it does here when the turntable start to rotate it will begin from this angle okay so let's say sometime i have pocket on the side for example a cargo skirt and I have pocket i want to first glance when the audience or the customer see i want to show the most important part of the garment so i would rotate it to exact garment or the point that i want to present for this example, it's, you know, I can go back to the front or side, doesn't matter. Let's just leave her kind of three quarters ish angle like that. And now I'm going to come over here to this record button right there. Click on it and then let it do a thing. So it is rendering right now. We are going to wait until it's finished. So when it's finished, the turn table window capture pop up and it gives you, give you the option to click the play button right here and see how the garment play, okay? And let's say you like it, and then you can just select save here. I'm going to name it gaming dress. Then let me save it into my folder. I'm going to come over here to download, click on it, and then turn table garment, click on that folder, and then. So before I continue clicking on save, as you can see right here, .mp4. This format, is common and you can open it in any computer from pc to macbook and you can share that pretty much on any social media platform it's the format that's really recognizable and anyone can open it okay that's what we want so i'm going to click on save once again to save okay so i'm going to go to finder and i want to open that and of course, let me move this out of the way and then we click on. Now, just like that. There you have a design Lisa. I hope you guys find this video useful and remember to follow me on Encoded Fashion for more awesome tips like this. Happy designing!